Hey everybody, Dan Wickline here. I'm back. And uh, just an odd uh, quick video I wanted to talk about. Um, going to try out the new logo, so you've probably already seen that. Today we're going to talk about a little bit about DMing and the misconception that a writer would make a great dungeon master. Now, uh, by the way, I'd appreciate it if you could subscribe, uh, like, click all the things you do to videos to uh, make them get more attention. I'd appreciate that, being that these are still new for me. But uh, let's go ahead and get into the conversation. Uh, I recently got into, well, I won't say recently, it's been a couple years now, I got into uh, playing Dungeons and Dragons with um, a group of guys over at Top Cow. Uh, Matt Hawkins got a hold of me one day and asked if I wanted to play Dungeons and Dragons, and I had never played before, but it's something I've always been curious about. So I said, sure, why not, and uh, rolled up a bard, because it seemed to be probably the closest to what I consider myself, or at least in my mind. And also I had just been reading the uh, King Killer Chronicles by Patrick Rothfuss, and the character of Kvothe is probably as close to a bard as we get in any uh, literature nowadays. So that was very cool, and I got to play that. And uh, played that for probably a year and a half. And then got asked by... Uh, my ex-girlfriend's daughter, who I, I've come very close to her and her brother, and uh, they, she asked me if I would teach her how to play Dungeons and & Dragons, and as soon as that question got put out there, her brother wanted to play, and her mother wanted to play. So I ended up uh, becoming a DM for the first time in January of this year, uh, and as I got one game under my belt with them, another group asked me to DM for them. Now, the misconception, of course, was that, hey, Dan's a writer, he'd probably make a wonderful dungeon master. And the theory behind that makes a lot of sense, because as a writer, you're used to making up stories. You're used to, you know, and that's pretty much what Dun uh, Dungeons and Dragons is. It's a shared story among the players, and the dungeon master is the narrator, and kind of moving it along. The problem is, that most writers work from an outline and are very stringent about what they're doing. And myself, I'm not so much that way. Um, I tend to make an outline and then I deviate from it as the characters move. Um, but I wasn't trying to do that here. I was trying to be very strict because I was working from the pre-made books. I was using... Um, Tomb of Annihilation with uh, Lisa and her kids, and I was using um, Tales of the Owning Portal with the other group. And it, it wasn't until I kind of loosened up and started treating the game like I do my writing, which is I have a basic outline, but then I let the characters kind of drive. So if even though I'm planning X, Y, and Z, if uh, the character's natural reaction should be to do something completely different and it changes the story going forward, then I roll with it and I, you know, I do that as a writer. And that's what I need, you need to be able to do as a DM. And a lot of writers don't work that way. What they do is they create their story and they're telling their story. And playing Dungeons and Dragons isn't the DM telling his story. The DM is merely the guide or the narrator, but the characters still have effect on the story and can take you in a thousand different directions. Um, you can talk to any DM and they're going to tell you that never once have they gone in and made a, uh, uh, a session that went exactly as planned. If anything, uh, players will do the last thing you expect them to do, and it's a regular thing, and I know I used to do that a lot to Matt, and I'd like to apologize to you for that, Matt. I know I did, I messed up some of your plans. Uh, the Giants, the Storm Giants being one of them. Um, but, yeah, the players, they're not working from your script. They're playing their characters, which is exactly what they're supposed to be. So, 
If you're a writer and they ask you to DM, go for it. But don't be so restrictive that you can't modify on the fly, which in a sense becomes a good tool as a writer because so many people write stories that they focus on the outline that they don't allow the characters to be themselves. Um, I've had, I mean, when I was doing the Lucius Fogg books, um, the very first book I had a very, very straightforward story in mind that there was going to be this guy who comes to Fogg and needs help because he got turned into a werewolf. And the whole story was basically them trying to help him. And I realized that it wasn't working very early on. And the reason it wasn't working was because there was no actual consequence or no sense of, uh, no driving force for Jimmy and Lucius. They were just helping a client. So I killed the client and I turned Jimmy into the werewolf. And I made it very personal because now Jimmy was trying to save himself and solve his own problem. And that made it much more intense. Now, it wasn't my plan, but it worked for the characters. And I had a few other things that happened in the story and in all my writing where something the character does, because it makes sense for that character, changes everything that I'm doing in the story. Now, that doesn't throw it off so much that I can't bring it back around but I just have to address different issues and I have to change things and be flexible and that is something you have to be as a DM. So where I don't think a writer is necessarily going to be a great DM, I think that if a writer can become a good DM, it will actually come back and help their writing. So I think every uh, if you can do that, if you can divorce yourself from the actual story that ha that you feel has to be told and just guide the story as a narrator, like you're, wa you're, you're watching it and you're taking notes, then I think you could be a very good DM. Uh, I don't know if I'm a good DM. I haven't been doing it that long. Um, but I'm enjoying it. Uh, the session we just had uh, Friday night was very unique for me because i um, I will, pre you know, I'll sit down and I'll prep and I'll have all my figures ready and stuff like that. And I have just been so swamped with other projects lately that I didn't have time to prep for this particular session. And I felt bad. I felt guilty because um, I feel it's my job as a DM to be prepared. And I got there and I just winged it. I mean, I knew the basic story. I knew what we were trying to do, but I basically winged it and. It was probably our best session yet. It was a lot of fun. We had a lot of action. It went very quickly. Um, and by the time we were done, it's like, okay, everybody, we're going to move on to, you know, it's like a new vitality again. And we're reinvigorated. There we go. So uh, I'm, I'm really enjoying DMing. I am enjoying the groups that I'm working with. Uh, I'd really like to play more. Uh, but I'd like to I like to just play again. I don't necessarily want to DM constantly. Uh, the group with Matt hasn't gone since December, so I'm really hoping we get back to that because I've learned so much trying to be a DM that um, I, th I I saw a lot of things I was doing wrong with my bard. I hadn't leveled him properly. I had missed some things, some abilities he'd get, um, things like that because I didn't know what I was doing. And I wasn't using him properly, where I think he's a much more powerful character now. I just haven't had a chance to try him. So I'm, I'm eager to get back into that, but I'd like to get uh, get back to where I'm uh, playing as a character again. A little more regular, a little less as a DM. I'd love to get onto a live streaming thing. I was going to with a couple uh, comic book people. And that uh, has been postponed until later. But, uh, you know, I see some of these groups online that they play. And they, you know, every Monday they, they're we're going through uh, the Dungeon of the Mad Mage or, or Critical Role. Critical Role is awesome. And I'd love to get into a situation like that where I'm 
you know, playing with a regular group online and, you know, with an audience and stuff, that would be a lot of fun. Uh, get to play a character. I don't necessarily want to DM something like that, but I do want to play something like that. So hopefully I can make that happen sometime soon. Uh, other than that, um, that was the main thing, was just talking about being a writer and being a DM and how it's not an automatic one-to-one -one thing. You know, there's a lot of work involved. You really have to put an effort to be a good dungeon master. And that being a writer doesn't necessarily make you a good dungeon master. But I think being a good writer in the imagination helps. And, and uh, being a good dungeon master can help you back as a writer. So, just most of my thoughts on it. And uh, that's it for today. Today is uh, Sunday. It's... Uh, August 18th already. Wow. Can't believe time is flying. But again, um, I still owe you guys a Spider-Man video, and I'm going to get that done. Just haven't had a chance. been so working on a bunch of other things. Still trying to get my... I mean, I, I know the lighting in this room is just horrendous. I haven't got the windows treatment up over here yet, and that's going to be backlight. And until I get that fixed, these videos aren't going to be that great. But I'm working on that. Um, please put your comments below. Let me know what you think. I know, like I said, I know the lighting needs to be fixed. Uh, hopefully the sound's good. I got a decent mic here that uh, I'm really liking. Uh, I'm trying different software. I've been trying to load up OBS Studios, but I'm having some problems with the drivers. So uh, I don't think I'll be live streaming anytime soon, but I'm working on that. And uh, I've got some other big ideas coming up, and uh, hopefully we'll get to those soon. Uh, if there's anything you guys want me to talk about, any lessons, uh, I'm happy to talk about writing. I'm happy to talk about any of the current comics, any of the current, current entertainment. If there's a topic you'd like me to you know, share my thoughts on, just uh, drop me a line. Let me know. And again, please subscribe and uh, post and uh, uh, let me know what you think of the opening. Um, I've already been told that I need to make it quicker, so I'm going to try that. But uh, see how it goes from there. And uh, thank you all for watching.